How's it going everybody? My name is Salty and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the worst class setup possibly in Call of Duty history, but especially Black Ops Cold War. Now, before we get started, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my daily Call of Duty videos. Then make sure to also smash the like button if you found at any point during this video was a little interesting, learned something new, or just overall enjoyed it. Let's jump right into it. Now, if some of you remember, about a month ago, I decided that I wanted you guys to give me the worst possible class setup down in the comment section of one of my videos. This was the most liked one. Let me tell you, this took me a long time to get a nuke with, but I kept my word. It took me weeks and weeks to actually get a nuclear with this class setup. Now, I was, they did not give me any perks or a secondary or anything like that, but I did challenge myself. I did end up running a single Magnum with like a suppressor on it. I don't think I really used it at all, but the class setup is going to be for the Tech-9. I did say it was gonna be a metal weapon, but you guys I'm sure can see where this is going. It has a thermal on it. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's not the bad part, to be honest, but the thermal is not exactly ideal here on an SMG, but for the muzzle, we're going with the flash guard. I'm not going to say anything. It's not a good class setup, so flash guard gives us 90% muzzle flash concealment, I guess. For the barrel, we have the cavalry lancer, so vehicle damage, I guess. <laughs> we get some vehicle damage with, the, with our tech nine. We're going to be shooting down some streaks. For the body, ember sighting point, not a bad attachment overall. We get some reveal distance and hip fire accuracy. For the underbarrel, red cell foregrip, something I've never used before in my life. We get melee qu quickness for some reason. I guess I can run around punching people and we get sprint moving speed. That's the 4% sprint moving speed. It's cool. Magazine, fast mag, not a bad attachment here. There's really no bad magazine attachments if we're being honest. For the handle, we have the drop shot wrap for flinch resistance and the ability to drop shot. Don't use this, please. Airborne elastic wrap, you can see there, we get aim down sight speed. We get flinch resistance and the ability to drop shot. So please use that. And for the stock, we went with the duster slide speed. I don't really see a purpose behind running this in particular, but some people can. I'm not gonna judge you for running it. You like it, you like it. But like I said, not a great class setup. We have a single fire tech nine here. And if you guys wanna see another video like this, make sure you guys put some disgusting class setups down there and I'll get a nuke with it this video as well i'll definitely do a part two maybe make it into a little series but uh no snipers please give me a primary weapon that i could possibly get a nuke with because uh, there's no way i'm going to get a nuke with a 12 round mag zrg with an iron sight i'm just being realistic here so get me a primary weapon make it a bad class setup if this video does as well we'll definitely do a part two no it's a little bit of a different video but i thought it'd be a little interesting hope you guys enjoy so i had to call in reinforcements for this one I am playing with another YouTuber named Clay. I'm sure some of you might have seen him. Um, I'm using quite literally one of the worst class setups I think that could possibly ever be made in Call of Duty. I have a thermal SMG, Tech 9, to keep it a buck. And this thing is. <laughs> Let's just say not good. Extremely hard to use. You see, I want to use it somewhat like an AR, but it doesn't have the damage range to do so. I'm a goddamn friendly. It's a really slow game. Okay, well, we're on a streak. This is the most success I've had so far. Okay, we're gonna put this away. See, at close range, it's actually really good. But if you start giving it some range, it's an L. Te our team's really winning here. He popped his war machine a little early for my liking. Oh, 
I actually might get this. I'm freaking out. Trying not to use this war machine, but I also gave it the attempt without it. And I just realized it's just too hard, man. I need a UAV. Like now. I actually got a nuke with this thing. There's no way I got a nuke with this thing. Am I flawless? I'm flawless right now. My team needs to chill on the hill. They really need to chill on the hill. I'm getting the hang of it. Well, we're finally freaking dead, man. I mean, I was going to try to go flawless, but I, get, I can only ask for so much. I can only ask for so much. Okay, where are the... This is really slow. I hate that. I hate when the game is slow like this. You see, right there is just the range I cannot compete in. Fully auto weapons just do not compete. I didn't think they were all going to spawn there, but I'm actually impressed. This has taken me such a long time. That's why I needed to call. I actually had to have someone come play with me for help. Like I had no choice. And the other team just has zero interest in playing the objective. Just, I mean, zero. No, stay on the stay on the objective. Why does he go for me? There's a there's a teammate of mine sitting right there. I'm surprised he even saw me. I'm not gonna use this war machine. We're just gonna go. This weapon the rest of the game. All 
All right, is the game gonna end here? Game's gonna end. I gotta hit noob. I still can't believe I did it. That's a W though, honestly. Like, this took me so long. You guys have no idea how long this took me. We ended up with 70 kills and a new GG's. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you could make sure you hit that like button for me, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to the channel, make sure you also smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.